Hello, welcome to the class of Vaishak. Today we are going to learn how to record the VIP calls. So to record the VIP call, we have to first capture these VIP calls. So in this VIP calls, there are two protocols that is SIP protocol and RTP. So here this SIP protocol stands for session initiation protocol and RTP is for the real time transport protocol. So these two protocols are related to VIP calls. So let's understand about this SIP call first. So this is the session initiation protocol. This protocol is used to make the connection between the two, the client and the SIP server. So here this first packet where it's showing the request, invite, message or it is also known as the register message. So this in this first, pa um, in this first packet here, the client request to the SIP server to make the connection between the two. After that, in the second packet here, it's showing the information packet information as status 100 trying. So here, this SIP server is trying to make the connection to the client and here it's showing the status as 100 and trying. After that, in packet number four here, it's showing the SIP servers making the can make the connection to the SIP client. So here it's showing the information as status 200 OK. So this means this connection is established between the SIP client and the SIP server. So in this way, the SIP connection is established between the two. After that, the RTP packet. So these RTP packets are used for transferring the voice data. So this RTP packets are sent after this when this SIP connection is established. So to decode the SIP protocols, we have to just go to SIP packet. After that, right click and we have to select this decode as. So when we click over it here, we have to select this option decode and after that we have to set the port number. So these two port numbers are used for the SIP protocol. Now select the SIP plugin to decode the SIP protocols. So this is the SIP plugin. Select this and click over to the apply. And next click over to the OK option. So here the SIP protocol is decoded as SIP plugin. So now get the detail about this SIP protocol. So here it shows the request lines message header. So as you click over to the request line, expand this. And here it's showing the method is used here, this acknowledgement. Request URI is this and this information. So as you select this SIP SGP, this first packet, here it will show the information as such. In message header, here it will show the that the SIP protocol is sent between these two and after that is showing the message is going from this device to this device and here the call ID is this and sequence number, contact number content type and the content length. So this is the detail information which is given by the SIP protocol here. So after that we will record the RTP packet that are used for transferring the voice data. So here the to record this RTP protocol we have to go to this option decode as and here we have to select the decode option after that this port number UDP port numbers now you, here you have to select the RTP plugin so this is the R sorry this is the RTP plugin select this and click over to the apply option and ok so this will decode the RTP protocols according to the RTP plugins so if you want to get the information what type of voice data is transferred over it so we have to select here this option it is telephony and go to the VIP calls.
so here it showed that here it detected two VIP calls so these are the two VIP calls which is present over here in this trace file so it's showing here its start time its stop type time then its initial speaker and the device name from where the message is going to the which device and after it the protocol and the packet which is sent between the two and after it is showing the state that these are two com completed VIP calls so to get the information about these two VIP calls we can get the filter packet about these after selecting the particular VIP call we have to select this prepare filter to filter out the packets so as I select this here it's prepare this filter next click over to the apply option so here it will filter out the first VIP call so the first VIP call is done according to these packets so here it's showing and last two packets is showing the request by and status 200 ok so these two packets are showing the connection termination process so here the SIP protocol is used to terminate the connection between the client and the SIP server so here this by message is showing the connection termination process next to it clear this and now open again open this the VIP calls after selecting this you can also get the graph analysis of the VIP calls so as you select click over to the flow option and here it will make this flow graph of this SIP protocol so in first here it's showing the invite message to make the connection between the two client and the SIP server after that the SIP server is authenticating this user the client and after authenticating it start it sends the message 200 ok to establish the connection and it, now it start the sending the packet over this connection so it showed that the RTP 425 packets and its duration and last to terminate the connection it sends the by message and to terminate it it is sent at 200 ok which showed that the connection is terminated in this call so this is the graph analysis of this VIP call so you can save this graph analysis of a particular VIP calls for the future references so close this after that there is an option for player so this player option is used to after selecting a particular VIP calls and you can get the audio message which is sent over here in this VIP call so you have to select this player option after that you have to decode these VIP calls and the to play the audio call you have to select the player so in this way you can play the audio calls which is recorded over here in this VIP call so close this So you to get the detail about this RTV protocol you can go to this option it is real time transport protocol and expand this option in packet detail pane to get the detail about this here it will show you the version the padding extensions the marker payload type and its sequence number and the synchronization message and the payload data so here it's giving the complete information about the RTP what type of data is sent over over this protocol so this is about the SIP and RTP protocol which is used in the VIP call so this is how we can decode the VIP call thank you